सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सिग्नल एंड सिस्टम क्वेश्चन विच वर आस्ड इन गेट ई सी ई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री पेपर सो दी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ स्क्रीन वेरी ईजी क्वेश्चन ओनली थर्टी सेकेंड्स आई विल गिव कंसिडर अ सिस्टम विथ इनपुट एक्स ऑफ टी एंड आउटपुट वाई ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू एक्स ऑफ इट दी पावर टी दिस सिस्टम इज नाउ देर इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन कॉजल नॉन कॉजल टाइम वेरियंट इन वेरियंट दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू चेक सो ए बी सी डी ओनली वन ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन आज डिन गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ई you have to save time in this easy question so that you can invest uh, your remaining time in the hard question always remember time management is very very important in the gate exam okay so the time is up uh, let us see what is the right answer if you are commenting bombay yes option b is absolutely correct why let us see so the first step is checking uh, causal non causal we have the system as y of t is equal to x of e to the power t okay so when i substitute t is equal to 0 then the equation becomes y of 0 is equal to x of e to the power 0 which is x of 1 what does this mean sir our present output y of 0 is depending on the future input so when the output is depending on the future input this is the case of a non causal system therefore you can write it here that the present value of output depends on future value of input whenever this happens then the answer is non causal system since it is a non causal system two options are eliminated let us go back and see which options are eliminated uh, sir a and c is eliminated because they are saying that the system is causal whereas our system is a non causal system so now for b and d which one is correct to to check that we have to find the time variant and invariant stuff so to the next slide let us find whether the system is time variant or invariant it's a two step process our equation was y of t is equal to x of e to the power t first you have to delay the input by k units so let us say the output in that respect is y1 of t so when i delay my input with k units e to the power t minus k will happen here since input is deleted by k units now the second step is replace wherever you have t replace with t minus k so in that case the respective output let us say y2 of t is equal to x of e to the power replacing a t with a t minus k so you can see this is replacing t with t minus k now my question to you is uh, see this first output and the second output are they same no sir ji they are not same here we have x of e to the power t minus k and here we have x of e to the power bracket t minus k so both of them are different when both of them are different the conclusion is they will be dependent on the time so y1 of t is not equal to y2 of t therefore the system is time variant system simple so if it is a time variant system go back and check which is that option non causal and time variant bombay is absolutely correct let us move forward for the next question you can see that this type of concept are repeated over and over in electrical paper also iron paper also ec paper also so previous year papers concepts are very very important because question won't repeat concept will definitely repeat let us go for the next question question number 2 in front of a screen easy question check it out so basically dtft is given let uh, an input x of n having a dtft discrete time fourier transform like this we pass through an lti system the frequency response of the lti system is this thing so can you find the output y of n they are asking the output in the time domain given stuffs are fourier transform frequency domain okay how you will solve sir in lti system output is uh, x of n convert with h of n use the dtft convolution change to multiplication substitute uh, then reverse form inverse uh, discrete fourier transform you will get the answer very simple very easy if you feel that uh, doing uh, inverse uh, dtft is uh, difficult sir ji then use z transform concept it's pretty easy 
so yes it can be solved in 45 seconds so i will end the timer if you are saying the answer is calcutta then yes it is absolutely correct why let us see it's only calculation that's all nothing more here no more difficult concept only simple calculation in lti system y of n is equal to x of n convert with h of n correct and then if i take uh, dt ft then i can say y of e to the power j omega that is equal to x of e to the power j omega convolution change to multiplication and then h of e to the power j omega now x of e to the power j omega is given in the question that is 1 minus e to the power minus j omega then we have plus 2 times e to the power minus 3 j omega then we have to multiply this complete stuff with 1 minus half e to the power minus 2 j omega this is what our h of h of e to the power j omega was okay go back and check whether we have substituted it correctly if yes then every term from here would be multiplied to this term then this term multiplied to every player this term multiplied to every player expanded version collaborating that and then what you will get is this check it out therefore finally i will say y of uh, e to the power j omega after opening and uh, combining the common terms we are getting 1 minus e to the power minus j omega then plus 2.5 e to the power minus 3 j omega then minus 0 0.5 e to the power minus 2 j omega and minus e to the power minus j phi omega this is what we are getting now they needed the output uh, not in this uh, frequency domain but in the time domain therefore now if you want to convert this thing into the z transform that also you can do e to the power j omega is replaced as z if you do that then y of z is equal to 1 minus z to the power minus 1 now take this term next so minus 0 0.5 z to the power minus 2 now take this term next replace e to the power minus j omega as z then plus 2.5 z to the power minus 3 and then finally we have minus e to the power oops not e we need z right so z to the power minus 5 okay now it's easy if i need the respective time domain signal i can say either in the form of the sample or if you want to write in the impulse form as they are commenting that a b c d you need the impulse answer so we can say when n is 0 the amplitude is 1 so here we can say 1 into delta of n next when n is equal to 1 the amplitude is minus 1 and uh, if that is the case uh, minus 1 into delta of n minus 1 right and similarly you have to move forward for the next player we have minus 0 0.5 delta of n minus 2 then plus 2.5 delta of n minus 3 and then there is no delta of n minus 4 then we have minus delta of n minus 5 so yes this is the final answer now if i go back and check uh, this is matching with uh, which of the following delta of n was positive then we got negative delta of n minus 1 so a and d is eliminated then we got minus 0 0.5 delta of n minus 2 then obviously we can say that this were wrong then here it is same okay then if i check delta of n minus 3 negative it was not it was positive 2.5 so yes calcutta is correct okay in this way you can say calcutta is correct very easy question very simple question based on the basics let us move forward for the next question and this next question is a very very famous concept of gate examiner asked many times in the previous year papers and again they are asking here gate 2023 telecommunication the fourier transform uh, x of omega of x of t that is equal to e to the power minus t square is what so this is the time domain function they are asking the fourier transform of that one way is to use the integration and solve but that is a very very lengthy approach other way is you know the standard results if you know that life is simple and believe me this is a very famous function gaussian function so it's necessary it's important you know the fourier transform of this thing okay i guess 30 second is enough in that 30 seconds you should be able to comment on the answer what is the answer let us see step by step so the method one let me write it here is solving uh, integration but i will not do that i will use the method two which is using the standard result if you know the standard results which is 
if you have e to the power minus a t square then the Fourier transform of that is root of pi by a then e to the power minus omega square by 4 a if you check it carefully sir here in the question the value of a is 1 so here in our answer if I substitute a is 1 I will get the final answer so here a is equal to 1 therefore e to the power minus t square the Fourier transform of that is root pi e to the power minus omega square by 4 where you can see that sir it is there in Calcutta so Calcutta is absolutely correct okay so now we can move forward for the next question can you see how easy the questions are sir all the questions were easy not at all there was a mix of easy medium tough but always remember that easy to moderate 80 percent question very very hard 20 percent question this ratio will remain throughout in any year uh, if you write the gate exam okay and in any subject any branch now to the next question check it out any question two marker no negative marking let x1 of t is equal to u of t plus 1.5 minus u of t minus 1.5 and x2 of t is shown in the figure below for y of t that is equal to x1 of t convert with x2 of t then the integration value integral minus infinity to infinity y of t dt is dash rounded off to the nearest integer so this is the x2 of t graph and x1 of t is written in form of the equation if you see carefully you might be thinking of Fourier transform concept and then getting the answer that is not wrong but obviously it is time taking and hence I won't follow there is a trick to solve this question so I told you method one is the Fourier transform which you are following that y of omega is equal to x1 of omega into x2 of omega and then uh, to get the integration answer you will substitute omega is zero and you will solve it okay I won't do that so the time is up i guess this question can be solved in 30 seconds how sarji how check it out so the first step is to copy this graph okay let me write it uh, in this way first step is what they are asking sir they are asking integration answer okay if they are asking uh, integration answer integral minus infinity to infinity y of t dt what is this sir engineering mathematics i have studied from you this is uh, area under curve okay so which is that curve sir area under the curve y of t but sir y of t is not given directly so what it is given sir uh, they are saying y of t is convolution of x1 of t with x2 of t so area under y of t is nothing but uh, x1 convert with x2 that is nothing but x1 of t convert with x2 of t so the trick here is what i told you a lot of students will use method one using the Fourier transform concept to solve the question but I am saying to use the method 2 method 2 is basic trick shortcut which is the result that area under x1 of t convert with x2 of t is simply area under x1 of t multiplied with area under x2 of t that's all if you do that you will get answer in seconds now let us go back and see x1 of t is not given directly we have to make graph x2 of t is given here can you comment on the area sir here the area is 1 here the area is 2 sir here we can find the area rectangle so base into height base is 2 height is 1 so area is 2 so final area 2 plus 2 plus 1 5 easy done let me go to the next slide and again write that in a proper form so that when you refer notes you get the idea completely what I told here that this is where you get area 1 this is the version where you get area 2 and this is the rectangle where you get the area base is 2 height is 1 so 2 into 1 the area is 2 okay so final answer that the area under x2 of t is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 1 that is equal to 5 now when i talk about x1 of t they were giving us the equation so what was the equation of x1 of t sir the x1 of t equation was u of 
t plus 1.5 minus u of t minus 1.5 so this is a rectangular pulse again okay so if you draw this check it out if you draw this so this is what you will get this is time this is y axis which represents x1 of t and then this is the graph which says uh, it's working in a range of minus 1.5 to plus 1.5 i hope you know how to plot that i'm just skipping some steps only two steps drawing this drawing this and then subtracting uh, the common parts and this is the uncommon part which is remaining okay nevertheless uh, now i can move forward and i can say the amplitude here is one and what about the area sir this is rectangle so base is uh, 1.5 plus 1.53 and the height is one so the area is 1 into 3 that is equal to 3. So I will write here area under x1 of t is equal to 3. So now what is our answer? So check it out. Copy this to the next slide and then happily say that we found this. First area under x1 of uh, t is 3. The next uh, we found it 5. So 3 into 5 the answer is 15. Was it simple? Was it easy? So if you know the tricks and techniques it is easy. Otherwise use uh, the concept of Fourier transform. Convert this players. Write it. Solve it. Solve the integration. Get the answer. Okay. But this one was little bit easy. You can check it out. Area under x2. Area under x1. Just multiply them got the answer let us move forward for one of the good question which was asked in the paper and again i will tell you if you know the tricks and techniques uh, you can solve this question pretty fast if you do not know the tricks and techniques uh, i will show you how to solve this question in two minutes okay so i will give you two minutes okay i won't give you two minutes uh, i will give you exactly one minute the question is uh, let m of t be a strictly band limited signal with bandwidth b and energy e assuming omega naught is equal to 10 b the energy in the signal uh, m of t into cos omega naught t is dash a b c or d okay so this question is based on the energy concept and uh, you can see that time domain signal energy is e again one more time domain signal energy is asked so when cos of omega naught t is multiplied can i say it can be converted into exponential version what is cos theta e to the power j theta plus e to the power minus j theta upon 2 convert that and then think and then you can get the answer okay last 10 seconds to go so 5 4 3 2 one done what is the answer the answer is bombay and i will give you both the methods method one and method two but starting with the lengthy method first